G'day everybody, in this lesson I'm going to show you how to use the ultra key effect in Premiere Pro to take out a, um, a background. So if you film something on a green screen for example, uh, you can use this to, to remove it and then replace the background with something new. So uh, to save time I've already set up my project in Premiere Pro and I've got my video imported. Um, so I'm just going to drag and drop it by clicking and holding and drag it into the timeline and uh, there's uh, me coming in waving and walking off. Now I'm going to just hold option and click the audio layer and then delete it because I don't want it. All right so the effect we want to use is uh, just before I get going I'm in the editing um, workspace setup so make sure you're in the same. Um, if you go down here and go into effects let's look for the effect called ultra key and if you search it and type it it should come up here and click hold and drag it on top and drop it onto your clip there and you can see um, my ultra key effect is now appearing in my effect controls all right so if we open the tab uh, there's a lot of different settings that we can play around with here so the first thing we'll do is we need to take the green background out um, so if you click the eyedropper, okay, and then if you move your mouse and generally you kind of find a midtone, and if you select it and it'll take out some of the green. Uh, it hasn't done a perfect job because you can see some of the light over here, but we'll fix that up in a minute. Um, you could play around with the different, if I undo that with Command Z, you could uh, play around with choosing um, sometimes a lighter tone might work, but then you can see a bit of the green in there, okay, so it's just up to you. Um, I'll undo that. I'll try one more time. Just generally, they a, a mid-tone's quite good. All right, so I've got a bit of light here, and it's quite dark there. And you're just gonna have to use your eye for it to kind of test it all out. And I'm gonna make drag this down to make it a little bit bigger. All right, so uh, that's not perfect. So what we can do is um, we can uh, go into first of all, let's go into the matte generation tab here. And if we play around firstly with the transparency, there's a lot of controls here that you can muck around with and play with, but I'll show you a few that usually work. Um, and if you click, hold and drag so that you scrub this one, um, you can see if I up the transparency, that background there is kind of is going quite a bit. But if I go too far, you can see I become transparent as well. So you just want to be careful when you're playing around with this, not to lose too much of the figure. Um, the next one I might play around with is the uh, pedestal. So where's the pedestal down here? If I click, hold and drag that, all right, and that's kind of doing a nice job of taking out that really bright spot. But you see again, if I go too far, my face, my forehead starts to, I uh, start to lose it a bit there. So I might just bring it back slightly to there. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. Let's have a look at the shadow area as well. We could muck around with that. That kind of takes the darks out, so just be careful there. I don't need to do too much there, but you'll notice that there is, um, if you play around with it, you do get this kind of green line around the um, edge of the person, so just watch that. Um, okay, let's go into the next one here, the mat cleanup. Sometimes we can muck around with, with the choke. Soften. Oh, there we go. All right, so that seems to be doing a nice job there. That contrast tab, uh, contrast effect there is getting rid of that area up the top there for me. And depends on depending on how yours decides to key out with the eyedropper will depend on a lot on how much you need to use these other settings. If it's a perfect green color, you would just pretty much only need to use the eyedropper and take it out. But let's keep going with that soften because that was taking that out now just be careful when you're using these ones in the mat cleanup you can lose a bit of the figure as well um, contrast actually I was using the contrast but soften was actually working quite well I was getting rid of that midpoint let's play around with that well we've got to be careful there because I'm losing some of the face if I put that up too much I'll undo it back to 50 I might just slightly put it up and that's looking pretty good um, now, if you play through it, I'm just going to scrub through, you'll notice that you can see a little bit of green on my fingers there. So maybe if you go to a spot where there's a lot of green, and you can use these to advance forward, back and forth a frame. All right, there's a bit of green there. So I can then go into the spill suppression into here, and range is usually pretty good. If I click, hold and drag and scrub the range, 
uh, if I don't do it too much, I'll undo it. Take it down or up. Okay, I think that just by doing it a little bit, maybe moving it up to 68 to 78, um, it's going to take some of that green away. All right, so let's, I'll preview that full screen uh, by pressing the tilde key on the keyboard plane. All right. So that's a pretty good key. Now, we will notice, um, what I might do now is, and we'll notice a little bit of difference, if we go back and I want to go to my project, or let's just go to File and Import, and I'm going to get my background. I've just got this um, this photograph of a jail, and I'm going to import in there. Now, you can layer a photograph, or you can layer a video clip underneath. All right, I just typed in jail or something in Google Images. Um, you can also go to YouTube and type free green screen backgrounds to get video footage backgrounds if you want to. Uh, but I'm just going to use a photo for this example. And what I'll do is, uh, I'm going to move this up a bit to give me a bit more space. And I'm going to need to change the order of this film clip to put it on the second video channel or layer. Click, hold, and drag this JPEG in, and let's see how that looks. And what I'll do is I'll select it, and I'll hover over here, and I'll drag it out till it snaps to the edge so that it's on the screen for the whole time. And let's look at that. There we go. Looking happy in the foyer of a jail. Or maybe that's where the prisoners eat their lunch. I don't know. Um, I could, that's, this JPEG's quite big. I could select this. I could go into the motion tab in effect controls up here, and I could play around with the scale of it if I wanted to make it a bit bigger or a bit smaller like that. Okay. Uh, sometimes when you put the JPEG on, you will notice that you'll see some streaks from this, um, from the green screen still. If that happens, you can go back into your movie clip and then you can go back into your ultra key effect and you can keep playing around with some of those settings until you get it right. Okay. So that's how you remove the background um, using the ultra key effect in Adobe Premiere Pro. Thank you.